Hello and welcome to Havering Sixth Form College's Art and Creative Media Online Tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to get started using Final Cut Pro, the video editing software. Okay, now I find that whenever I start with Final Cut, it's really important to have as much desktop space as possible available. So what I like to do is to hide this bar at the bottom. Okay, and I do that by clicking on the um, desktop, holding down Command and Alt, and pressing D, and you'll see it disappears. Now, it hasn't gone forever. If you want to get it back, you can just hover over it, and it will reappear. Okay, now the first thing that we need to do is to be make sure we're really organized with any video project. So we're going to create a folder, and in that folder, we're going to put any media we're going to be using for this. So by media, I mean movie files, or I mean audio files. Now we're going to create this folder in the movies folder. So um, it's going to be in my offline area, but it'll be your numbered area. I'm going to select movies here. Now the movies folder is specially set up to save directly to the computer in front of you as opposed to your documents folder, which saves to a network. Now the difference is that because video editing constantly sends and receives quite big chunks of information, um, no network is fast enough to process that. So we have to save directly to the computer in front of you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button and go new folder. And now I'm going to type in getting started because that's what we're going to call this. Now in this folder, we've got to be really organized and we want to keep everything that we're using. So for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to be using this MOV file here. I can tell it's a movie because it says MOV at the end. Um, I'm going to control click on it and I'm going to open it with QuickTime Player. And here we're going to test to see if it's working. So I'm press play. Yeah, that looks fine to me. I'm just going to flick through. Okay, everything's good. Some scary stuff going on there. Okay, excellent. I'm just going to pause. Um, what we want to do is to drag this across to that folder. Okay. Now next we want to open up Final Cut. Okay, now we can do this by opening it up from here and you can see it looks like a little clapperboard. Um, if you can't find it there then you can go to your applications area and if we scroll down to F we'll see Final Cut Pro. Um, alternatively on a Mac if there's ever anything that you can't find then you can use this little spotlight tool at the top and I'll type in Final Cut and there we go. Now Final Cut Pro is a professional piece of editing software so that means it's used in television and in um, film production so if you want professional results I really recommend that you use this. Okay now you're going to get this warning initially I want you to click con maybe do not warn again and continue and now Final Cut opens up. Okay now first thing as with any project we want to make sure we save it properly first so we need to remember to save it into that folder that we created before. Okay, so we go to the movies folder, getting started, and here's where we're going to save it. I'm going to call this getting started also. There we go. Now with Final Cut, it's really important that you set a scratch disk for your project. Now a scratch disk is to simplify it where your computer is going to do all of its thinking and processing. Okay, now we need to make sure that that scratch disk is set to your movies folder because once again the scratch disk can't be set across a network because the network is far too slow. So we're going to go to system settings and here you can see we've got our scratch disk option and I'm going to click set and I want to make sure that that's in the movies folder and I'm going to select in our getting started project here we go choose okay now that's great now of course we can't start editing until we've imported a piece of video footage so I'm going to go file I'm going to go import import files and now I want to look for 
that music video I had earlier and there it is I'm going to choose that you can see it now appears here in the project bin now if I drag this across to what's called the timeline or the sequence at the bottom you'll see it'll ask you this what it's asking you to do is if you want to change Final Cut settings to match that of the video clip um, that you've just imported and you want to say yes there are lots of different video project settings and lots of different codecs and it's important that you get it right and the easiest way to do that is to let Final Cut do that automatically so now here we go now we can scroll through this and that appears to be working fine you can press spacebar to play yep that looks good to me and now we're ready to start editing Thank you.